All right, for this next section, we're going to write an equation for each translated function g of x in terms of f of x, and then simplify the equation. So let's get started with number three. Um, the equation f of x is equal to 4x plus 2 is translated 8 units up. So if you're going upwards, you're going to add 8 to it. So I'm going to write g of x is equal to f of x plus 8. So that's what we mean by um, writing each translated function g of x in terms of f of x. So that's this black underlined part. That's the instruction we just followed. And then we're going to also simplify the equation. So I'm going to rewrite the g of x equation now is equal to, well, f of x is the same thing as 4x plus 2. I got that from right here. f of x is equal to 4x plus 2. So I just replaced the f of x with 4x plus 2. And now I'm going to write plus 8. So then we need to simplify this. We get g of x is equal to 4x plus 10. How did I do that? Plus 2 and plus 8 make plus 10. So this is our final simplified answer. g of x is equal to 4x plus 10. OK, so that's 8 units up. You're going to add 8 to the equation. It's pretty straightforward. Let's try it in the downwards direction. So they say 24 units down. So g of x, the new equation, is equal to f of x down is subtracting 24. OK. So that's writing g of x in terms of f of x. Now we're going to simplify the equation. So write g of x again is equal to f of x. We're going to change it to this. What is f of x equal to? Negative 5x plus 3. And then we have our minus 24. So g of x is equal to negative 5x. And then the plus 3 and the minus 24 combine to make minus 21. So this would be our final answer. g of x is equal to negative 5x minus 21. 